Hey guys, this is Oliver from Spitfire Audio and you are listening to the sounds of our newest library, the Oliver Arnold's Chamber Evolutions. If you're after that typical Icelandic, cool, very profound, kind of painfully beautiful sounds, then this library is for you. And Oliver has kindly shared his secrets with us and therefore with you. And I've got to say, it's just absolutely amazing and a pleasure to write with it. I'm going to show you how I've used some of the sounds. And it's going to include a little bit of kind of harmonic structure, uh, a couple of production tricks, and then just showing and sharing the sounds with you. Right, so the main motif came from this uh, waves patch here. So these are kind of Oliver's contribution, like this slow entrance sound. So I'm just going to play it for you. This is absolutely amazing and you can see I'm not touching expression and dynamics. I think as I believe I say in every in action video, please, please use uh, dynamics and expression because you bring life into uh, your composition and into your samples. But this is just life itself. And uh, harmonically, if you're interested, um, I'm just going down the the minor scale, so I'm going from B-flat minor to F minor, but with the third in the bass, so with A-flat in the bass. And then to G-flat major. And I'm adding the major seven here. And I'm kind of repeating that, and once in a while I'm going down uh, to F minor. to create a bit of tension to then go back to the B-flat uh, minor. And yes, they're kind of, they stop the samples. So how I recommend to write, and you will see later in my piece how I've written, is kind of hitting notes halfway through your chords and, and it's kind of, they start to kind of overlap and it sounds really, really nice. got a couple of other patches with these waves so we've got them in different uh, lengths so exactly four different lengths so you have shorts as well for example here I'm using uh, some tremolo shorts they're quite nice as well and then you have shortest or short which obviously means it's not as short um, 
And then we've got bases. So we have uh, kind of we have div divided them in uh, chamber and and bases. So you can kind of mix them, have a bit of better control. Uh, we've also got uh, the same patches uh, in Time Machine, so it will sync uh, to your host and to your door you're, you're working in, it's the tempo you're working in. So, what else have I used here? I'm using uh, Oliver Arnold's toolkits, which obviously goes hand in hand, and I'm using a pad here, Dark Angel, which is kind of my carrying uh, sounds. So I'm just going to play you the sounds, how it is with, without all these effects here. really nice kind of haunting sound but I wanted to make it slightly more interesting and, and moving so I put a bit of a compressor on there because I'm, I'm going to make it kind of wobble so I don't want to kind of jump out I just want to kind of even kind of nicely in the background and then I'm using this tremolo here it's kind of one of Christian's favorite tricks I mean I, I stole so the face is usually here on 180 so I reverse the face so it doesn't go left and right so it just gives a feeling of going coming back and forth and gives a nice movement. And now I wanted to create the pattern, so I'm using it a second time, but with a different rate here. Then I'm using a, an EQ just to, to clean it up a little bit, don't make it too muddy, so I'm, I'm taking out the low end here and a couple of uh, frequencies kind of spikes where it's kind of resonated a little bit too much for my taste. Then I'm putting a drive on, but what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm also automating a lot of these things. So for example, the depth of the tremolo, I am automating, so you can hear it in the beginning, it's not as kind of fast or deep kind of moving. Uh, and then I'm also cutting the high frequency a little bit in the beginning just to make it uh, sound a bit further away and more haunting. I'll just play this for you uh, in solo. got a spread on there as well to make the sound field a little wider and that's kind of my car carrying rhythm and then if I just play this along that's my initial idea Here you can hear now the high frequency coming out of this uh, effect here. Then here in the middle I'm just making a new track so um, I can automate it in a different way and I kind of just like to have the different sections on a new track. I find the overview much better. And then in the ends I want to make it really wide so I'm doing my usual kind of trick if I want to do that. I double up the track here and then if I zoom in I have the second one here slightly further to the right so they're actually not in sync and then I pan them uh, out hard left and hard right and it gives you that sense of a really uh, wide sound sound enhances the space of the whole kind of spectrum <laughs> So let's take it from the top again with these waves. So again, I'm like, there's a little bit of programming because I want to have a very, very, very subtle start. And then I have a longer wave here.
I'm not using the time machine stuff here because I think it, it, it sounds more beautiful and I believe Oliver uh, prefers it as well because that's kind of the original sound. As soon as it starts stretching, etc., it, it alters the sound a tiny bit. But sometimes you have to use it if, if it really has to sync up. Uh, so that's my intro. Then I'm using here a bit of trims just to decorate and some uh, bass longs. Again, here, important what I said before of starting a note halfway through. So my main movement kind of starts always on the beat. And here this tremolo, I'm starting kind of in the middle of the bar. So it kind of, it swells here. So not exactly where the other notes swell. So you don't get like a big kind of pause. What we've also included in the library is the chamber grid. So if you're a, fa a fan of our Evo series, then this is definitely for you as well. I'm just going to play you a little bit. Of these ones so we have subtle we have episodic more dissonant uh, less dissonant listen to it for hours and of course as with the other evos um, if you want to have a specific choice of what you what your evo is supposed to do then you can go into here individual evolutions and you see exactly what uh, the players are doing so sultasto long sultasto waves uh, sultasto ponds uh, etc or here uh, from like 12 to 15 for example we have more uh, episodic ones so they're doing a bit more movements. Actually, I'm just going to play you a little bit. It's absolutely amazing. Yes, it's got a lot of character, but imagine you, you add that kind of really nicely in the mix into your kind of uh, orchestral or cinematic composition. It just adds that kind of difference and it adds a little bit of sparkle. Okay, let's see what I'm, else I'm using. I'm using the piano, Olafur's piano. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, the sound of this and how it blends in now with the chamber evolutions. <laughs> I'm using a lot of splosh here, uh, Oliver's signature reverb, uh, kind of uh, echo, space echo. And I'm playing it very softly and my piano line is, is really, really simple. So I'm creating this kind of tension with this echoey sound right in the back. And I played it in all kind of uh, rubato to to give a bit of a feel of like pull and push I always recommend playing stuff in it makes it more organic and more human here an Evo in the background to so add a bit of interest Very beautiful and haunting. Hear the waves, the trams, the short ones. And again, here uh, I'm, I'm using the same kind of melody line and re rearrange it a little bit uh, just for you to see, which is this one. kind of a similar chord progression and here again I'm not using not really using any expression kind of I'm just giving an overall kind of uh, kind of rise of the of the of the volume but I don't really need to kind of draw in uh, dynamics or expression it just kind of does it itself or all of us done it for you
Here, bass sultasto. Sultasto long, very soft, smooth. And then these uh, artificial harmonic trills, they're one of my favorites. I mean, how cool is that? You just hold down one note. I mean, it's super cheeky. You get all these amazing sounds while just, you know, holding down one finger. And then here, kind of my big change. And I'm using here a sine wave, just an octave under my lowest bass, just to kind of make it ramble. If, you, if you're on studio monitors, you can, you can probably hear it and feel it. It gives that certain warmth. Again, uh, here. My uh, synth. I've automated it as well, the depth. Just so it doesn't stay the same all the time. Like I'm just, you know, creating subtle changes here and there to add interest to the composition. And if we just listen to the strings, which is probably what you want to hear because that's in the library. So here I'm just playing chords. And then here, high melody, I'm using vibrato to add more drama. Then a harmony here on the... Counter melody. And the bass literally also in the waves, just following kind of my, uh, my chords and uh, the effect here. And yeah, the bass line. In octaves, very warm and... Kind of peaceful, it makes you feel really comfortable, I find. Some tremolos. Really subtle. And these kind of screaming uh, notes, sultas there on the top. second piano layer just to enhance the tempo a little bit such a beautiful sound and then the ends again uh, kind of rubato played over this beautiful patch here, uh, the bass sultasto pitch. So it kind of it slightly moves uh, out of tune. I wouldn't say out of tune, but it kind of makes it a bit sharp and flat here and there. Gives kind of that unstable feeling. So I think that's it. If you'd like to listen to the whole composition uh, mixed and mastered, please go to the demo section. My piece is called Solstice. And if you have any questions, please write into the comment section. If you like it, like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'm looking forward to uh, hearing your pieces. And I hope you have fun to play with the Oliver Arnold's Chamber Evolutions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.